that saying let me uh, go ahead before going to my presentation outline i just want to let you know so that you will appreciate why this topic being chosen if you look at this the very first here electronics and communication engineering is the utilization of science and math applied to practical problems in the field of communications today i am sitting here communicating to you people you sitting there watching me and uh, you sitting there maybe possibly communicating to anyone across the world so that is because of this technology that is ece has blessed you people have blessed the technology can we imagine our daily life without this what you see on the screen mobile phone your laptops television tablets digital watch internet banking atm cards what not answer is big no we cannot imagine at all life all these are possible due to electronics and communication engineering as we look into future robots will also be part of our lives very soon and embedded electronics which is a sub branch of electronics play an important role in this all of this makes easy and interesting field to study and work electronics and communication deals with these if you see these three points electronic devices such as diodes transistors that's what electronics and communication engineering are going to deal with circuits they build some circuits amplifiers filters attenuators etc and they develop this communication equipments like transmitter receiver and ic's integrated circuits then what is that ec aim set what is the basic aim of the ece the basic aim is to produce products that are smaller smarter and multifunctional so your phone has got several functionalities right you witness this that while browsing you may receive a whatsapp message while you are studying going through your whatsapp message reading whatsapp message so you possibly may switch to your browser as well so these are called multifunctional so you have earlier days those devices were in uh, size point of if you talk they were comparatively bit uh, huge but nowadays very tiny very smaller devices can be seen and smarter means the those devices are intelligent so what is the aim of the ece ece electronics and communication engineer aims at to develop this smaller smarter and multifunctional devices so with this said i think at this point you possibly may be appreciating electronics and communication engineering moving ahead i have this presentation outline i'll be just touching brief history of electronics what ic's are electronic circuits are, integrated circuits are scope of electronics and communication engineering so people you might have heard about are there is no future all these misconceptions will be removed once you have this scope of electronics and communication engineering why should you choose electronics and communication engineering branch major technologies in which ece engineer can work on ece engineers without awareness will think that are i did ece that is electronics and communication engineering what is the scope this software guys have it guys have scope but that misconception that ignorance will be removed once you see this major technologies in which ec engineer can work on what are the scope and applications of electronics and communication engineering in detail these applications are elaborated here applications of electronics what other specialized electronic fields are there where you people can work some government sector companies some private sector companies what are the skills that an ec student needs to develop to improve job prospects today 
majority of the people might have heard about this buzzword machine learning deep learning artificial intelligence all this how easy is related to this machine learning so you will get to know about this even you might have heard about iot is internet of things so what how easy is related to this iot will be addressed here different domains in ics and subjects required to be mastered so if you at all you want to become an ic design engineer what subjects you need to master so this is what about my presentation outline what you get after attending this presentation today is importance of ec you will get to know what job prospects are there in the ec domain how important ic design is what challenges are there in ic technology that you have to address what is the role of machine learning in the ic design let's get started with this history of electronics the first agenda our journey all started with this vacuum diode and triode in the early 1897s with this device here what you see on your screen people used it to develop circuits there after some developments took place these developments here in the 1948 transistors been introduced this has revolutionized the entire electronics industry in the year 1958 integrated circuits been introduced this further enhanced the job prospects the entire paradigm of the industry it has changed this integrated circuits in the year 1958 to, to till date we are continuing with this ices so the this vacuum diode invented by john ambrose fleming in the year 1897 it has got only two electrodes there after people have felt we cannot control the output current all this terminology at this point for you may be alien you may not be understanding but you had to understand at this point there were vacuum diodes with which we started this journey of electronics there after in the year 1948 in bell laboratories we have something called bjt this device been introduced by these guys here what you see here for which they have got nobel prize john here you see this guy walter here you see this guy walter william here the first guy these people in the year 1956 they introduced this transistor so this has really revolutionized this entire change of the entire domain entire paradigm of electronics industry this small device in the year 1958 this jack kilby in the year 1958 he has introduced these ics integrated circuits right hand side what you see this is the left hand side this is the guy that you see him so there are various sir, applications sir screen is not visible sir screen not visible screen is not visible sir yeah yeah let me let me fix the problem we can see it it is visible sir it is visible some are saying it's visible and some are not saying uh, not visible uh, so i request everyone for whom it is not visible you do one thing the way i am instructing sir, you sir now it is visible sir now it's visible uh, zakir please proceed it's clearly visible don't worry okay Sorry. thank you yeah thank you so right hand side what you see main applications of ics you will appreciate what this ic technology is if you see look at this computer tv cell phones digital clock robotics telecommunication systems all these applications that you see here right hand side this is just because of this development in the integrated circuit technology 
you see many more applications of this ICS. Some are in biomedical, some are in display driver. Possibly those people are fond of uh, using laptops and uh, mobile phones. They talk about something called graphics card or graphics processor. So all this is because of this integrated IC technology. I you see them here. Energy management ICs. This generation, new generation, you people may all the time may be talking about how long the durability of that battery is, how long it lasts. So the more it lasts, that is good. That is, uh, it is considered that way. So that is possible because of this energy management ICs. So there is uh, something called sensor ICs, you see them here. So without the sensor ISIS, today there's something, the buzzword, possibly you might have heard about Internet of Things, it is not possible at all. So this is brief picture that you appreciate here, you being a EC guy, how much you are working to the, how much you are contributing to this development. See earlier here, you see this PCB, Components here, you see these different ICs been placed randomly here. This is called discrete way of keeping. But if you integrate them on the single silicon here, all these components, you are eventually minimizing the area, thereby smarter devices, small devices that you are developing. So this is called system on chip. So who is contributing? It is you guys, ZC guys, the electronics and communication engineering guys. You see here, this device here, right side, analog and digital circuits. Earlier phones were this, but nowadays these phones are here that you hold in your hand now. So the, this entire paradigm change is because of ECE, electronics and communication engineering. Scope of electronics and communication engineering. Before going to that scope of electronics and communication engineering, you have to understand what is electronics. The profession of applying scientific principles to the design, development, and fabrication, repair and maintenance of electrical or electronic machines, instruments, and communication systems. This is what the electronics is defined as. You see a few examples here, all are familiar with. Why electronics open any device today? Inside you will see inside the plastic cover, all electronic components. The SIM card that you insert is encapsulated into the plastic cover. If you open that, your naked eye cannot see those billions of transistors inside. Those billions of transistors are made by these electronic guys. Some of the latest electronic gadgets that you see here listed, you can, uh, anyway, I'm going to share this slide with you. Why should you choose electronics and communication engineering branch? It's really going to mind blowing for you people without electronics. There is no other branch. Now you will witness how it is. With the evolution of computer age, electronics and communication has transformed into a field that is inevitable. You cannot avoid, required by almost all the industries. Electronics is now part of our everyday life from the mobile phones, televisions, computers, and even the high-end advanced satellites that are helping us to lead a smooth life. Electronics and communication engineering is a major driving force for the present day information technology that what we are using now, uh, we are using, we are connected through this information technology now i'm communicating to you through information technology who had contributed to this this electronics and communication engineering has contributed 
Electronics and communication engineering has also penetrated into other areas like healthcare, instrumentation, automation, remote sensing, signal processing. Very shortly, you are going to see them. So students pursuing electronics and communication engineering have a lot of scope in varied industries, in different industries. They have plenty of opportunities, lot of scope. You see them, have a glance here. Just have a glance here. Some tablets, some virtual reality, smart home, IoT, what not here. So all these are major technologies in which an easy engineer can work on. You see here, major technologies in which an easy engineer can work on, analog and radio frequency circuits. What happens if circuits are not there, these analog and radio frequency circuits? Without these, cell phones, Wi-Fi, television will cease to exist, will stop to exist. It will not come into the existence, all this. A lot of industries are established to meet the consumer demands. And in the process, they opened up a lot of job opportunities for electronics engineers. You see this analog and radio frequency circuit picture here. This small, tiny one that you see on your screen has got several circuits. One is transmitter, one is a receiver, some filter, what not. So who has developed this? You people, electronics and communication engineering. Without you, do you think cell phone will work? Without you, do you think Wi-Fi will work? So you have got plenty of opportunities Coming to this communication and signal processing, this particular technology finds its application. This is another domain where, this is another technology where EC engineer can work on. Communication and signal processing domain. These guys will deal with transmission, storage, analysis of information signals. Let us have a glance of this. If you see this carefully, something transducer Something is sensed here. There is a circuit behind. I will show that one here. You, if you see this one, the earlier shown figure, this is the back end circuit that is working. Who, who is behind this development of this circuit? It is electronics and communication engineer. Computer and digital systems. This is another technology, another domain. All the industries are able to advance technologically as a faster pace than before with the help of computers. These digital systems are everywhere from the smart watches to Mars rovers. Have this, you see the CPU here, this tiny image that you see has got trillions of transistors inside. Who is behind the circuit development? This tiny, you are human. Naked eye cannot see. Electronics and communication engineering guys are behind this. Coming to the other technologies that computer vision and image processing. These technologies are helping computers in the areas like medical, surveying, photogrammetry. For instance, now we have medical devices that can analyze data to not only display images, but identify diseases too with the help of magnetoresonance imaging technology, MRI, what we call. So if you look at this picture, you will appreciate the passengers or whoever may be entering, guys here watching these images, and they conclude looking at the fa facial, facial gestures and the temperature they can monitor. All this is possible through this sensor technology. Sensor technology has got in a lot of circuitry inside, which shortly you are going to see them. The point here that I am trying to make here is without even human touching them, through this computer vision and image processing, they are able to identify if someone has some 
particular disease. So that is the age we are living in. Who is behind this again? ECE. Control systems and robotics. If you see this big arm here, robotics arm, you have several here, condition monitoring, advanced position, safe motion control, all these that you see here, everywhere ICs are there inside. Without these ICs, this robo robotic arm is of no use at all. Meaning what I'm trying to emphasize with this example is, this is uh, another technology where EC student can work. Networking. With the boom of the internet, we are experiencing 3G, 4G. Nowadays, people are talking about 5G. So you will appreciate here what is going on. A lot of data be, being transmitted through this networks, networking system. What is there inside this? ICs are there. These ICs are making our life easier. Who is there behind development of this? Electronics and communication engineering not IT guys. IT guys are making use of what you people have developed. So never ever underestimate, never ever think that only CSC, IT guys have the scope. You are the backbone for the industry. Likewise, there are other technologies too where EC engineer can work. Remote sensing, nanotechnology, sustainable energy and power systems. What are the scope and applications of electronics and communication engineering? You see them here, I have listed plenty of present and emerging technologies. You can go through them, I will share the slide anyway. Here, Few more I have listed them. Applications of electronics in consumer electronics, we can categorize them, this electronics. We can categorize this in the, as industrial, as a medical, as a metrological and oceanographic, defense and aerospace, our automobile sector. Looking at this picture, you will appreciate what consumer electronics is all about. You have your office gadgets, home appliances, such as washing machine, refrigerator, audio and video systems, your advanced consumer devices, storage devices. All these are called consumer electronics. Again, electronics, I am emphasizing each on every slide, electronics, importance of electronics. Industrial electronics, you, you may appreciate if you see this, What is there in this industrial electronics? There are several here, I have listed them. Few are biomechanics, renewable energy applications, photovoltaic systems. Behind all these industrial applications, industrial we call them as industrial electronics. For example, you have a smart grid system. What it does? Smart electronic systems collect information from the communication technology and react accordingly based on power consumption. It is an application of intelligence, computing and networked electric, electricity systems. So who is behind this development? Electronics and communication engineering. They need to have the computing ICs. They need to make intelligent devices. They have to have network over which I am communicating to you people. This is called network. Earlier I have shown few pictorial views of that. Industrial automation and motion control, image processing, these are a few of the industrial electronics subdomains where EC students can work. Coming to medical applications, so carefully watch this image. You will appreciate doctors are watching something here. They have some touch. 
they are watching here some patients some image here so meaning what meaning is this you being electronic guys even serving this medical field as well all right for example your pacemakers glucose meter all these are electronic gadgets electronic instruments who who has developed this electronics engineer has developed this coming to your meteorological and oceanographic here as well electronics and communication engineering playing major, major role to find earthquakes they have developed some devices inside electronics is there through which they are able to predict so what is going on for example if you see this barometer for predicting the weather is good or bad for example here hygrometer for measuring humidity so these are few applications that i have listed under this meteorological and oceanographic who is behind this applications of electronics i have categorized here so you people are behind this you people even contributing to defense sector as well for example missile launching systems rocket launchers aircraft systems or not who is contributing for the defense and aerospace without electronics do you think this is possible no not at all coming to this one automobiles see everywhere something is mounted something or the other being mounted here so for example brake system all these are electronics without electronics this car that today people are proud of so you can imagine do you think without electronics they take proud in this no not at all so what is then electronics is having a great scope and without electronic gadgets our daily lives cannot happen technology is advancing quickly in the field of semiconductors and upgraded electronic applications will shape the world you people are going to shape the world remember not it not csc guys other specialized electronic fields so far you have seen several there are lot more things behind these are few more that i have listed them you can go through them i will share anyway coming to the major important here some government sector companies you see them here i have given here url once i share you can click them and you can go through all these are government sector companies some private sector electronic companies i have listed them you can go through what are the skills that an ec student needs to develop to improve job prospects yes one side without electronics there is no other engineering but the other side if you don't develop this skill set then you are really not going to contribute so what is the skill set or what are the skill sets that ec students need to take care computer proficiency is must these days so this is the number one important you cannot just do away with this computer so have to have a lot of acquaintance with the computers different applications especially those are related to industrial grade softwares in order to develop your ics in order to develop any application so far that i spoke there are softwares behind and you have to learn them which is a part of your electronics and communication curriculum you don't need to go panic but you can, you have to be serious about this the very first point develop your communication skills and interpersonal skills try to speak don't hesitate don't shy develop more practical skills don't be a bookish do a lot more practicals 
get the ICs, integrate them, test it, do it the practical way. Get exposed to current industrial methodologies. Those I, earlier I spoke some government companies. Visit those websites. What is happening? Go through. You will understand how industry is moving in which direction. Stay updated with the latest technologies by developing projects on them. Do additional certified training programs. During your engineering, you may have to sometimes do some certified training programs as well to build your profile. Take additional responsibilities in your college to showcase your managerial skills. College admission means doesn't mean that you have taken and that's it, your job is over. Involve, participate, mingle with the fellow students and the faculty as well to do all this above mentioned. So that's how you own the responsibility. Develop your leadership and team working abilities. So if you inculcate all these eight, then you are fit for industry. Here, this picture speaks here, chip manufacturing. This involves chemical engineering, some physics, some economics, some material science. At this stage, you don't need to go panic. You have to focus on only electronics. Without electronics, this is not possible. That much you have to understand. Machine learning in VLSI computer-aided design. People are talking about this machine learning buzzword. So you need to be have clear picture where you can set this machine learning in your domain, that is ECE. So you know, this machine learning, something called lithographic and physical design, that fabrication of your SIM, the SIM card you see in your phone, that is that has gone this this process, that SIM that you see in your phone or any chip. How do you deploy this machine learning to do this job? There where, that's what that you have to focus on machine learning, not that software domain perspective. Internet of things. Even this buzzword you might have heard about, internet of things. How you can relate this IoT in your electronics and communication domain, this IOT. So that is where that you have to think IOT and VLSI circuits. What are the challenges and opportunities this IOT, that new buzzword that you keep hearing, how it is relevant to your ECE, that you have to understand. So there are some like end units, IOT, cloud servers, communication, at this stage, you don't need to go panic. But all these are have got relevance with your domain that is ECE. For that reason, we call them application-specific IoT, Internet of Things. ECE guys are contributing this area. Without ECE, again, you cannot think of IoT at all. These are few cloud servers, this memory, CPU, DSP, something, some, some components. Without these components, these cloud servers cannot work. And coming to these components, these components are actually contributed by the EC guy. Even this communication that you see here, wireless, this is contributed by communication because if you see your the course title engineering and communication who is contributing communication guys are contributing so you can see you will appreciate how this is happening some agriculture sensors i will show you what is there inside you just see them some sensors here, wearable sensors, some agriculture sensors, some, some ICs here. These are ICs actually integrated circuits here. This tiny that you see. I will show what is there inside. 
the, the this is talking about some cha challenges that you have to address you being a easy guy you have to address you see this one here your pressure sensor some cmos image sensor all these are sensors mounted on this and some 45 trillion sensors with the current cost structure is not feasible so uh, this statement if you see carefully we are in huge demand of sensors and these sensors technology the cost that is today is not going to answer this 45 trillion demand because this cost is not affordable who is going to bring it down by making innovative ideas by bringing innovative ideas into the circuit design it is you ec electronics and communication engineering guys and here technologies that will be needed to drive the changing world few more technologies in the your ec i have listed them i'll be sharing this slide you can go through here are some data processing challenges yesterday you have seen the uh, presentation some big data analysis where you have to have some computing devices computing devices nothing but your so, some sort of cpu so those are processing behind the huge data so these huge data processing capabilities are possible because of such computational ices development some system level challenges system level means all that integrated the top level inside what is there inside there are several other components maybe all this sub components put together for example if you see this one here this this picture if you see it has got mems micro mirror some cmos image sensor some front camera all these are sub components all these sub components put together it is a system so at the system level also we have to have uh, some challenges which needs to be addressed so that is what is uh, here system level challenges the machine learning models built on the data will only be as good as the data so this slides anyway i'm going to share because at this point uh, it is highly difficult for you to uh, grasp them what is really i'm communicating but so far uh, you you have to understand that electronics and communication engineering how important in this technology development future if you see we are talking about something called artificial intelligence some data processing just now i spoke about some personalized medicine so these are the future challenges that we have to address if we we means electronics and communication engineering guys if we could able to come up with some innovative ideas in circuit development in processor development then it is possible this artificial intelligence this artificial intelligence really can really can benefit only through ece electronics and communication engineering so hope guys you will take uh, uh, real seriousness and from now on you will not be distracted so let's proceed to this something different domains in ics and subjects required to be mastered so here i have categorized if you want to become a digital ic designer digital then these are the few subjects that i have listed anyway this slide i, I will share with you people you can go through you in your engineering you have plenty of subjects right so some may want to become digital ic design engineer uh, for them these are the subjects some may want to be analog ic and these are the subjects one must uh, master some radio frequency ics are there so these are the set of subjects one is uh, master 
some are mixed signal ics like a lot of digital converter digital to analog converters this ic1 here if you see this ic1 these subjects and ic2 these subjects both the ic1 and ic2 subjects needs to be mastered by this mixed signal ic design uh, uh, aspirant vlsi layout finally we had to fabricate the design that chip, that uh, sim card that is there in your phone that should be fabricated that needs to come into the existence so this guy will do something layout we call you will understand later on once you uh, you know you go in your engineering in the higher semesters these subjects one need to uh, one needs to master finally verification engineer what those ics we develop whether they are really working or not one will be verifying them we call them verification engineer this guy must be good at this c++ with oops and system verilog for verification and uh, some vlsi design companies these are a few uh, i will share this slide so this is what all about the topic thank you for attending if you have any queries you can reach me on my email id which is there on the very first slide you please take this from now on just remove all misconceptions that you have towards ece a lot more to do in the ece with this i conclude my session thank you one and all this is my email id you can reach me at this thank you so much guys you have any queries no sir i understood everything so hope uh, you will move positively with the uh, ec engineering electronics and communication engineering from now on no distractions no one should have distractions about csc it sort of hope oh. yeah guys yes, yes sir. sir yeah thank you so i'm signing off